True talk. talk. As any of you discuss what you went through in the street or your psychological impact with your family? Has anybody tried to raise the topic with their families? For me, yes. I'm like reminding them like every day. It doesn't have any impact on me or maybe it didn't affect me but I don't like talking about it. I feel ashamed so I don't like to talk about it and it makes me feel bad. And it wakes up so many memories that sometimes when I'm alone I start to shed tears so I don't like to talk about it. The most painful part of it is that what I was expecting them to feel for me like, ah, so we didn't know you went through this thing. My brother, the one that is very close to me, when I told him he's in India now, the money I brought for him, he used it to spend it on the girls, he used it to take girls from the street because he knows that the money comes from the street. That was what he told me. I'm here talking about how the thing affects me. So it was really painful for me when he told me that it was really, really painful. He said I'm useless, he was saying a lot of stuff, and I was really disappointed. They are the ones supposed to take their children's responsibilities, the father and the mother. But we, the girls in Europe, we are the ones taking care of them, instead of them taking care of us. They depend on me. Anything they are going to do when it's involved with money, they used to call me. But when I have the money, I send it for them. But when I don't have it, I will say, Mama, brothers, I don't have the money. They think uh, life over here is uh, free and uh, we can just go to the tree and pluck the money. But no, that is not true. The, the money, they don't pluck it in the tree. You have to work very hard to gain the money here. Our life over here is difficult. How do we, all these guests get the money? They are prostitutes. They don't have any good job. They don't have any uh, office job. They go to the street. They are prostitutes, you understand? I just hope that the family understand the business their children they are doing over here. How can you send your only daughter to come and prostitute to give you the money. Imagine if you have a love for your daughter, if you have real love, what about our school? What about our future? What about our life? What do you think that she will become tomorrow? What about her dream? Yes, so families, they know where the money is coming from. Even if they know, they don't care. They want their own share of the money. Some of them, if they call the, the children, if, the, if there's no gift to them, some of them will get angry. My family, everything is on my head. We are six children. Everything is in my head. This one will come in today. Tomorrow, this one will come in. If it's no gift to them, problem. They don't even care what can even happen to their daughter in Europe. Money, money, all the time, money. And if you don't give the money to them, problem, big problem. Sometimes the girls go through tortures like beating them, stealing all the money they work, and then you'll be depressed. And whenever you, you run to seek for help, even when you think of yourself that I need help, when the pressure of the family starts, you want to like go back again. It's difficult. Me, as the third child of my family, it's like I'm still the head of the family. I have elder brothers and sisters. They are looking up to me, even when I'm the younger one. They can't even understand that it's still difficult. Everything is not okay. Everything is expensive here. They don't understand that and you have to send money to them. At the end of the month, you have nothing, nothing left for you. No even service for you. What, what is your future? Why are you working? For the family? For your younger ones? You don't want them to go through what 
you have going through so it's so so difficult even me and uh, sometimes uh, the team make me go crazy Talk. 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 Talk.